So this box right here, it looks to be, I kept it organized, all superheroes. And again, I'm torn on this stuff, but you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Let's see what we got. So this is Marvel Legends. Spawn of the Symbiotes. And this like right where I already knew I wasn't collecting Marvel Legends anymore because the prices just kept getting higher and higher and higher. So I cherry pick little characters here and there that were cool, but uh, I mean, you're either in or you're out on some of this stuff. If I thought it was just cool, you know what? Let them go. I don't know what the value of this piece could be. I will say if Hasbro has already remade this character in a newer and better detailed version, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be worth probably like 20 bucks. Spawn. Oh, Cosmic Angela. Yes. Such happy memories. Not really. This is the weird one. You know, the original Angela, hell yeah. This one, not so much. What I do think that makes this piece a keepable piece is the history of the 90s of comics and toys, the tie-in of how the femme fatale, half scantily clad women just started coming in because sex sells. And this literally is the embodiment of it. Now, the original Angela was still a very decent looking like character. This is the clear cut. We're going for the gold. Give her less and less clothing and let's pump that puppy out. It just, it doesn't even look that good. I mean, mark it now probably on this piece, five bucks. I, I would like to mention to keep it for just the uh, history of it, but you know what? Nah, we're good. Oh, wow. We got a little box here. We have Spider-Woman. This is like the classic red outfit versus the black outfit. Still a really nice figure. I think they did a great job. So the piece doesn't have much artwork on the front, just the sides. And this is, of course, great artwork. But am I displaying it from the side now or am I displaying the figure? And at that point, you start realizing I'm okay with having loose figures. And depending on the market, I mean, a loose figure at times for really crummy, crummy toy lines is the equivalent value of a package figure. Like Star Trek Playmates sell better, loose, complete than in the card. Let's see what is up with that. Scarlet Witch. Actually, this piece might be a better piece now with all the movies that have come out. But yeah, we'll we'll see how this rolls. When was this? 2015. God, that's like when the Egyptians built the pyramids, right? Now, I will say on the side, I thought Galactic Heroes and Superhero Squad were really, really awesome. And I did strive quite a bit to collect a number of Superhero Squads, almost the whole set, because they were just fun. They were cheap. These were in the store for five bucks each. The market went up. The market went down. I don't think it's come back. So this Storm figure, I think this two-pack was like 65 75 for a while. I'm going to just hazard right now. This thing is bottomed out to like 35 bucks. Spider-Man movie stuff, mm, that's not an easy call to make on value-wise. But, God, I mean, the artwork's cute. Everything is great here. But this is where we're making the call. Let it all go, man. Just let it all go. Oh, no. It was just... You know, especially on clearance, these things like a three pack here would be six dollars, and just they don't take up much room. I just thought they were a wonderful line to collect. Again, I can have all the loose ones at a buck each. I already have some of the unproduced ones that were sneaking out of China factories. I mean, again, how much can you store? That's the problem we're in right now, and that's why we have to get rid of stuff. Warpath card is not in good shape, and if I'm going to keep a packaged cheapy cheapy toy biz figure i'd like to have a clean card i've been doing a little bit more research they are bouncing up in value but again what eight bucks 12 bucks and then these are very interesting this is the last of the last the last toy biz figures that were being produced this was a prize exclusive holy moly Around the mid-2000s, everyone was already conjecturing, you know, what will be the next hit? What should we sit on? I was already buying up the final series of turtles, looking for, like, the coined winged warrior sumo turtles and sitting on those, waiting for the market to blossom. And we were all discussing, like, this final series of Toy Biz or the other ones, like the some of the Aqua Wars, 
armor sets in the final, let's say, two to three years, that would be a good investment. So here we are. I don't see these at shows. I don't see these that often. These final package samples. Look at those puppies. What are they worth? We have Storm. Very nice. We have Psylocke. Very nice. No accessories. You see how cheap it was done? These might be a uh, KB piece. I don't really know. Oh, no. These are Japanese. <gasps> Hence the prize. <gasps> My knowledge is coming back to me where I got them from. So these actually might be rarer than I can imagine. But does that mean they're worth money? We're going to find out. But the answer is probably no. I might keep those because I'm not going to get those back easily again. And there's times where the shipping cost is just going to be outrageous. Big fan of the Avengers animated series. Not a big fan of growing old and watching my bubbles turn yellow. So that's not that exciting. Big, big bubbles. And Tigra. No one's paying money for these things. They're great figures. Long lost animation series that people kind of like, do you remember? But I would probably hazard each figure is worth 10 bucks each. And I should have them all lose complete. So I'm going to get rid of these two guys for the yellow bubble. Keep Tigra. That is a great tub. In eight minutes, we annihilated quite a lot of figures in there. Let's move to one more superhero tub. 